Hey all, Andy from Solar Reviews and this is our 2021 expert review for Longy solar panels. Now Longy solar panels, you may not have heard of them, but they're actually one of the biggest solar manufacturers in the world. Their volumes now are a humongous 16, 17 gigawatts, which is 17,000 megawatts of solar a year. So huge volumes. The way we rate panels here at Solar Reviews is we rate them on a score out of 50 using five or six different uh, criteria. The first criteria is module quality. And in that we're looking for efficiency and temperature coefficient. In relation to efficiency, we're looking for a panel that converts a higher percentage of the sunlight it receives into electricity. And so we're looking for a higher number in relation to temperature coefficient, it refers to the amount by which power output falls as the temperature of the panel goes above 25 degrees. So there we're looking for a low number. In relation to module efficiency, Longy have a respectable 21.1%. It puts them in that top handful you know, maybe half a dozen or so manufacturers that are now over 21. The market leader Sun Powers at 22.8, LG second at about 22.3. They're the only two brands that are over 22 at this level with production modules, but with 21.1% for the Longy panels, they're actually pretty good. Temperature coefficient at 0.35%. Again, it's a little behind the market leaders like Sun Power at uh, minus 0.27% or LG at minus point. Uh, to 9% but still very respectable and so overall for module quality we scored the Longy panels 8 out of 10. The next big category is financial strength and visibility. Now in this case Longy scores very highly for this because Longy probably is the biggest solar manufacturer in the world. In terms of revenues in 2020, they had $8.4 billion in revenues. Initially when I read that, I thought maybe there was, being as though they're listed on the Shanghai Stock Exchange, I actually thought that perhaps the numbers were in renminbi, which is a Chinese currency, which is about six renminbi to every American dollar. Um, but actually, you know, they were US dollars. So that is a huge company, $8.4 billion worth of uh, solar panels sold and $380 million in profit makes it one of the, probably the most financially strong solar business in the world. So we scored them 10 out of 10. Uh, yes, they're Chinese, but their financials are visible. They, they report to the Shanghai Stock Exchange just as American companies report uh, to the Stock Exchange here. Uh, and you know, their results are very good. The next category we score them on is in USA investment. And here Longy have fallen down a little bit. They only scored three out of five in this category because they have no manufacturing in America. They have an office in America, but not a great commitment to the American market yet. I think probably it's a similar story with all of the large tier one Chinese manufacturers. They now make very cheap, very high quality, very high volume uh, modules. However, you know, the tariffs that were in, put in place by the Trump administration probably did lead Chinese manufacturers to pull back a little bit from the US ma market. The next category we store, we score on, which is the biggest category, it's 15 points out of 50, is value. For that, Longy score at the very top end. Longy are one of the cheapest high quality tier one modules available. Uh, so they scored 13 out of 15. So to give you an idea, at the wholesale level, you know, a panel like Longy, you know, can be in that sort of 40 to 45 uh, cents per watt range. Whereas you might find something like an L or a sun power might be in the you know 70 to 90 cent range so it's a substantial difference and you should be able to find good dealers that should be able to do you quite a good deal on a longy based system 
without having to cut their profit margins to a point where there's a, a higher risk that that installer might go out of business, which is always my concern when buying solar. Yes, I want everything at a good price, but I also want to make sure my installer makes enough money that they're going to be around for the next 25 years when I need help and service from them. So value was a real strong point for Longy. Uh, in terms of dealer network, they don't score that well because they don't have anywhere near like the depth of the dealer network that companies like SunPower and LG do have uh, at the moment in this country. However, I expect the, the, they, they really are up and coming. So I really do expect that the score we give for dealer uh, network to improve over time. The next thing we rate on is warranty. They're warrantied and that, that scores, obviously most panels have a 25 year warranty so that's pretty standard. But what we look for with warranty is the amount um, by which they guarantee the panel will still produce at 25 years. So in the case of long E panels, they, may, they guarantee 84% of output at 25 years. So that's behind the market leaders of LG and SunPower slightly. You know, they're guaranteeing, you know, about 90, 92% uh, of power output after 25 years. But look, I don't place too much stock on that really because in many ways, when a, a solid manufacturer sits and looks at, okay, what are we going to derate? What are we going to warrant as the maximum derating or the maximum amount by which these out, the output on these will fall over time? People take different views on how conservative they want to be about that. Some are very aggressive and take the view, well, let's, you know, warrant a higher level you know, because, you know, who really is going to know or care in 20 years um, and even still have their paperwork to claim a warranty. But, and then some are probably a little more conservative and say, well, no, we want to make sure that we're, we're conservative in what we warrant. So we don't put too much emphasis on that, but it is worth noting. Overall, Longy scored 40 out of 50 points, which actually puts us in the elite category. With our Solar Reviews Expert Panel Brand Ranking Score, anything 40 and above is elite. The leader this year, LG, scored 43 out of 50. Uh, Longy really pick up for value and financial strength and the size, sheer size of the company. Uh, so very credible performance. The first time that a Chinese-based tier one panel has actually creeped into the top three places. Uh, so a very interesting panel to consider, particularly with the value equation. And we hope this has helped inform you if you're looking at Longy panels or people have offered them to you as an option. I guess my overall view on Longy is that this, this perception we sometimes have that Chinese means cheap and nasty. Yes, in this case, Chinese means cheap, but these are by no means nasty panels. These are really quite good quality panels and everything I've heard from Longy now over five or six years, uh, has, this is globally, this is not just in um, the US context, it, you know, has been really good. So that's all for now. Have a great day.